I am going to show you how to um, put this cardigan together. This is a Rhinebeck uh, cardigan and there is Rhinebeck sweater and this is Rhinebeck cardigan. So I'm going to show you how to put this all together. It's uh, five pieces, back panel, front, right and uh, left and two sleeves. Here I have back panel and two front and two sleeves. Sleeves we're gonna do it later. So here's the uh, front. So how can you tell which one is which? Could you mend it? You know it. But in case you are confused and you see the long like decrease here is going to the outside uh, goes to arm so this matches here and the short uh, incline is gonna be in your neck band so that's how you tell which one is right side or left side so let's seam the uh, side seam side seam basically uh, from the bottom one by one loop stitch to the underarm right here. So we're gonna use the, what is this? Uh, okay, I can use the contrast color. We're gonna do this core one. So I can use contrast color, you can see it better. So I cut slight yarn, thread like this. If you have a tapestry needle, you can use tapestry needle or crochet hook. But this one is easier with tapestry needle because the yarn is thread is skinnier. And you have to find the very beginning. Beginning will be this, and the other side here, the beginning of the stitch, and you. Uh, you're gonna insert a needle. It doesn't have to be, in my experience, it doesn't have to be exact. The purpose is to make it like look clean and pretty. So don't get panic when it doesn't match is like perfect. There is no such a thing perfect, I don't think, in handmade. So after that, you're gonna, you will have to find the, the stitches. Some like people go from, start from here. I didn't uh, see it like necessary. So I always go one up, start up, and then go next one. So this stitch looks big and small, <clears throat> but it's basically one stitch, one stitch. So you go in and out for next stitch. And then after that, you go the other side. A little confusing here. The other side, find the first stitch and go. I don't know if you can see it and then out the one up okay. and see and then come this close to your side and then find the thread that where you came out you go in the stitch where you came out does it make sense and then go one up so there is a bar in between so in and out going down and going up and going down here and you see there is a bar here like in between here so going down and come out so that's it back and forth come this side come back this side in and out in and out so that's it. You're gonna repeat this process up to the right under the arm. Um, the 
basically uh, seal the seam in and out, in and out. So see, if you pull this thread, you won't see the thread. You close the gap. So come back in and out, in and out. So here in and go one up here. Out. Like I said, it, I'm not a perfectionist as long as it looks good and no hole, it works for me, but some people are very uh, need to perfect, but I don't see that. See, it closed the gap. So let's just keep continue until the end. In and out. In and out. can do loosely here and by pulling it you can make it tighter later too, like this. Actually, it's a lot of, lot of fun. Seaming is not, a lot of people don't like it because it's tedious, but you have to enjoy the process. If you make a couple of um, cardigans or sweaters, then you get used to it. No. Okay. So, so you will see here is the beginning of the decrease, two stitches together. So we're going up to here and the other side as well. So that's the side seam. So we put it like this. And then we I would do the shoulder seams. Shoulder seams are a little different. <clears throat> there is many different way to do it. I have this thread attached here. I'm going to use the same color. Should I use different colors? Yeah, I'm going to use different colors to show you. It's called like Kitchener stitch. So 
So basically, make it secure, it won't come out, and later you're gonna whip in. So I will use the, you see the like V, that's one stitch, both leg. I'm gonna use the outer outside and this outside of this. So front panel, you go in like as if insert a tapestry needle as if you need. And then go to next stitch, you go in as you if you purl like this. Or you know this is just one way to do it. If you don't mind anything, you just give them back and forth. The purpose is to seam it. And then if you go the other side, you can go insert the tapestry needle as if you purr. And then go next one as you knit. And come <clears throat> close to you and you gonna insert a needle, same um, stitch you purred, basically, one here, and you in as if you knit. So just make it a little clear. And instead of going the other side, you're still gonna work this side this time is next stitch as you view her. So the direction will be back to front. And now you go the other side, you go into same stitch you you came like last work here as you view her. And then go next stitch as if you knit. Now you can come this side, insert a needle edge if you need. You so knit, you end with knit, you start with knit, and then go next stitch, you insert a needle edge if you purl. And then you go the other side, purr, 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 knit, knit. And then come next one, knit. Come this side, knit. It's not really knitting, but as if you knit. And then purr, purr. called Kitchener Stitch. So you can find a lot of instruction on YouTube or on the book. See? And then knit. So that's it. Purr. You continue this up to the edge. So we'll leave it like this, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how to, to connect the sleeves here. Okay. I, th I think you got the idea. Right, Anna? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do it one side. So here, we're gonna seam basically both sides, this and this, this and this side connect this, this side connect the front. <clears throat>
か Okay, so here, so here is the beginning. So don't confuse like if you sew like this, you <laughs> you not be able to wear it. I did that one time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can always it do it do it over. <laughs> but <laughs> so we can start it away. So. So this is the beginning of this and then what you're gonna do is in and out again so you can do here in and out start somewhere like a which one they have a smaller one here right smaller stitch you can make it bigger like by using it in where the yarn is hanging in and out and here too. in and out in and out so you're going to keep doing the F, very top. Yep, you should have a glass of water or tea <laughs> and music. <laughs> We're getting there. Isn't it amazing? Who came up with this thing? <laughs> If you know any other way, you can send us email to let us know. We'd love to learn new method or just right, exchanging the information. Like, okay, it's a little tedious. I enjoy it. Are we gonna fast forward this? No? <laughs> I 
I guess not. Well, I got confused at the mm. top. Oh, okay. When things were like no, not much, like at the end. Four, and then uh, we can meet was, in the. Mm. Making it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be patient with me then. So they should have a same number of both sides. So when you don't have up to here, you don't want to do it all this work again. You just have to kind of fake it. You, it's okay you skip one here. You, nobody will know it, right? I think that's what I had to do. <laughs> I made it work. Yeah, it wasn't matching it exactly, but I didn't want to fake it. it out. You yeah. would um, see it. It's supposed to be matching, but you know, so. Yeah, but this yarn you can't really. Any yarn, you just oh, have to yarn. make it. <laughs> make, <laughs> make it, it to make, make it. it. <laughs> make it work. That works for me. So this is done with one side, right? So make it like work and make it looks pretty and neat. With these things, or you're gonna like weave in and at the end. So you can do the same thing from the other side, from bottom to up, and close up like this. And here you just weave in, make sure you don't have any big hold, anything like that. I do keep going, because I don't really care the back. But if you want to look really nice and neat like this, this looks nice, isn't it? Then you start the other side, the same way, you go up and meet, and you tie it and weave in and all the fun thing. Then it will become, the sweater will become like this. Wow, magic. And you can add pockets if yeah. you want. And you will, uh, we have another video we can show you in full video, you can see Pocket, there were the two pockets and three pockets. Pockets are easy. We have video tutorials, or oh, we're gonna have a video tutorials. It's so easy, you can make anywhere, and it's so cute. And some, 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 some. Okay, thank you.